grew up in a place called Worcester, Massachusetts, which is about an hour outside of Boston, kind of central Massachusetts. And at the time, there was a big enough Irish community there. So we would have heard an awful lot of Irish music. When we started playing violin, I suppose, we started in, in school. In America, there was a strings program. So we would have started kind of in classical music. But the Irish music thing was kind of always there just from the fact that mom and dad are Irish and stuff like that, so. The music is a big connection between Ireland and, and America and there's an awful lot of people similar to myself that uh, they are in New York or in America long, longer than myself but it's great to meet up with them and play tunes because I suppose it's just a, a taste of home and how things were before they left maybe going to sessions meeting up with people and, and having a bit of crack in, with tunes and stuff like that. I suppose music is probably one of the few things that you can, you can learn where you can go absolutely anywhere in the world and be able to communicate with other people quite quickly. And you meet some of the nicest people and, and you, you have good friends, good friends for, for life I suppose. In terms of writing music and stuff like that, um, it gives you a creative output. It's a way you can kind of maybe get into that part of your character, your personality, to be able to maybe take an idea or an emotion even maybe, or, or something you're thinking and be able to kind of express that through a piece of music or, or, or get it out in that way. What's keeping Irish music and the culture alive is, is the sheer amount of young people playing it, I think. And, e and even like the Irish language, I think there's been a serious uptake in people uh, trying to learn the language and, you know, uh, getting a grip on it, which is great because I think, I think we do see now how, how unique uh, Irish culture is, Irish music, Irish dance, Irish singing, all that kind of different stuff. It's very unique for such a small country to have, uh, to have reached all around the world basically. The, the standard of, of mus musicianship among the younger people is, is astounding. Like if you go to a FLA, like any of the competitions, the, the level of musicianship is amazing. Like So I think in terms of identity and all that sort of thing, I think people are maybe coming, just becoming more accepting of it and just maybe kind of celebrating it a lot more and not afraid of, of, of celebrating it. Um, and just com you know, completely taking it in for what it is. Um, and as Patrick said, it's such a unique culture and you know, the music and, and the song and the dance, it's so unique to Ireland that I suppose, why wouldn't you celebrate it? Mm -hmm. 